Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to cheese Great Ape Vegeta in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So right at the start we're going to block, and then you want to charge up your key, and then use a Dragon's Dash to get away. And I would recommend just going straight up, as I find it kind of breaks his AI. Now once you get up here, it's all about getting into your Sparking form. So you want to charge it up even further, so you're going to see the Sparking gauge there, and then... Even just launching a Kamehameha, sometimes you can get it a little bit of a clearance to be able to charge even further. But you want to be able to charge all the way up here. Now, once you get this fully charged, you can actually attack him and he won't be able to attack back. So this makes it so easy because you can just continually attack him when you're in your sparking form. He sometimes will do a few different attacks there, but as long as you're blocking whenever you're seeing them coming out, you'll be fine. And uh, as long as you have this gauge built up, you want to be able to attack him as much as possible. And you'll eventually knock him flying. Once you send him sent flying, immediately do a Kamehameha because that's going to deal a good amount of damage to him. Now, once he's a far away again, then proceed to charge back up, and you want to get this sparking gauge as full as possible. So whenever he does those attacks, just continue charging. This does take a few attempts to get lucky with the RNG, but once you get that full sparking gauge, you're going to be able to stagger him with your attacks. So that's when you get in close and just continue to attack. If you need to make a clearance, you can use your Dragon Dash to fly away. But again, he got launched away there, and we hit him with another Kamehameha. And it's really just about getting this off about three times. So it is a little bit challenging at first, but uh, yeah, as long as you're using your block button and blocking some of those attacks, you'll be in the clear. Now, he does do that attack if you get too close, so that is annoying. So that's why you want to be getting your Sparking Gauge full as much as possible. So then again, just fully charge it up here, and then we're going to get him into this stun lock that he goes into. And his health is reduced down to almost nothing now. So then we can drop the final Kamehameha and that is how you can easily cheese Great Ape Vegeta in Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. If you found this video useful please hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video.